before we start with your modules for the teaching certification program i would like to add this information regarding your licensure examination for teachers later on okay since it concerns all of you this is the guideline on the designation of major subjects for unit earners for the board licensure examination for professional teachers so you know for a fact that a licensure examination for teachers is currently the most numbered examinees being administered by the professional regulation commission or the prc and the the board exam for the let is not only limited to those who took the bs in education elementary education or secondary education as their bachelor's degree so those who took other courses and have finished the required units of professional education can also take the licensure examinations and that's why all of you here who are in, enrolled in the 18 units of professional education will have to be designated with major subjects depending on your bachelor's degree or i will be presenting you the different majorship for non-education bachelor's degree holder or unit earners of professional education so that the list was extracted from prc board of professional teachers under resolution number 51 series of 2016 prescribing the major component of area of specialization in the board licensure examination for professional teachers secondary level for graduates of non-education course so this is with regards to the announcement given by the prc regarding the suspension of the board resolution number 34 series of 2022 being a part of the special professional licensure examination or SPLE overseas this announcement is also for you since you will be taking the board examinations uh, this year so that will be on June I think and it says this is to inform the public that the implementation of the unit requirements for the major component or area of specialization for graduates of non-education courses for purposes of licensure examination for teachers as provided under the board resolution number 34 series of 2022 is suspended okay so appropriate major component or area of specialization for graduates of non-education courses starting march 2024 lapt shall be determined in accordance with the board resolution number 51 series of 2016 and until further notice so this is the resolution number 51 series of 2016 this is prescribing the major component of area of specialization in the board licensure examination for professional teachers secondary level for graduates of non-education courses okay like some of you here are uh, bs psychology BS, uh, bs civil engineering and then most of you are uh, graduates of commerce marketing or financial management nurses you will find your designated area of specialization or majorship okay as we proceed okay so uh let me just read we're as republic act 7836 at the young philippine teachers professionalization act of 1994 one of the legal basis right legal foundations of education as amended by republic act 9293 that provides for the educational qualifications for admission to the board licensure examination for professional teachers in section 15 qualification requirement of applicant so i recall new yung discussion nyo about the legal basis okay 
no applicant shall be admitted to take the examination unless on the date of filing of the application he shall have complied with the following requirements first a graduate of a school college of a university recognized by the government and possesses the minimum educational qualifications as follows for teachers in preschool a bachelor's degree in early childhood education or its equivalent for teachers in the elementary grades a bachelor's degree in elementary education now for your case uh, for teachers in the secondary grades a bachelor's degree in education or its equivalent with a major and minor or a bachelor's degree in arts and sciences with at least 18 units in professional education so it was highlighted and for teachers of vocational and two-year technical courses a bachelor's degree in the field of specialization or its equivalent with at least 18 units in professional education okay whereas the board the professional regulatory board for professional teachers issued resolution number 2000-242 as supplemented by resolution number 2008-07 on the academic decrees which have been determined and identified to be equivalent to those academic degrees required of applicants taking the BLEP for the school elementary and secondary levels. Whereas, CHED mem Memo Order Number 2004-30 entitled, ito yun, Revised Policies and Standards for Undergraduate Teacher Education Curriculum that requires students of the Bachelor of Secondary Education to complete at least 60 units of content courses in one of the following majors or areas of specialization mathematics physical sciences biological sciences english filipino social studies values education technology and livelihood education music arts physical and health education and islamic studies whereas there were inquiries made to the board on the appropriate major or area of specialization in the BLEPT secondary level that graduates of non-education courses should take to be able to obtain teacher's license whereas the board carefully reviewed the curricula of various non-education courses with a view of formulating a policy guideline that will prescribe the appropriate major component or area of specialization in the BLEPT secondary level for graduates of such non-education courses. Okay, now therefore, it is hereby resolved that graduates of the following non-education courses shall be assigned to the major or area of specialization as herein provided for purposes of admission to the board licensure examination for professional teachers in the secondary level okay so eto na masasagot na yung mga questions nyo yung mga naririnig rinig nyo sa mga kaibigan nyo sa Philippines na hindi na iaalaw na mag take ng licensure examinations yung mga unit earners unless naka 60 units sa mga major courses yung mga ganun okay Kasi nasabi ko sa inyo last time, kung hanggat wala pang announcement ang PRC, huwag magpapaniwala. Kesyo ang daming hindi nakapag-exam sa Philippines, ang daming na-reject, na unit earners lang sila or 18 units of prof ed. Okay? So now, <coughs> it is suspended. Okay? So, let's have the list of majorship or specialization so biological sciences or you will be taking the secondary biological sciences 
should you graduate or if you are a graduate of the following courses okay bachelor in elementary or environmental hygiene environmental science bs in animal health and management animal husbandry animal science botany forestry marine biology med tech and nursing okay some of you here are nurses and med tech so definitely after taking your 18 units and take the board examination or the lab your major will be biological science same is true with bs nutrition occupational therapy optometry pharmacy oh mom ano ikaw physical therapy so and you will be under biological science so tama yung mga <coughs> When you inquired, tama yung yung mga designation nyo dati. Actually, same din naman. Ito rin naman yung ginamit, ginagamit ever since. Since 2015 that we started here uh, overseas for Middle East exams, licensure exams, ito pa rin naman yung mga majorship. Last year kasi, noong 2023, na may mga changes uh, sa majors. Like yung, yung biological and physical nag-merge into science. Yung AFA, yung agri uh, uh, ag fishery arts, agriculture and fishery arts na emerged sa TLE. That was effective March of 2023 last year. Okay? But ito, effective March of 2024. Okay? Si Ma'am Lynn, BS in Psychology, so you will be under Biological Science. BS in RadTech, Veterinary Science, BS in Zoology, and Doctor of Dental Medicine. Okay, so all these uh, <coughs> unit earners <coughs> with this bachelor's degrees, you will be under Biological Sciences. Okay? BS Chemistry and BS Physics, Nutrition, Food Tech, and Doctor of Optometry, you will fall under Physical Sciences. So you need to review the, the, the TOS, the Table of Specifications for Physical Sciences, for your majors. Okay? And then, for Mathematics major, yung AB Statistics, and I think all engineering, aeronautical, agricultural, BS and applied mathematics, automotive engineering, chemical engineering, civil, computer engineering, BS and computer science. Take note, BS and computer science, you will take mathematics majorship, electrical engineering, electronics and communications, geodetic, Industrial Engineering, Marine Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Naval Architecture, and Sanitary Engineering. Okay? If you are a graduate of Bachelor of Arts in Development, Communication, Literature, BS in Mass Communication, and AB Journalism, your majorship will be English. Okay? You are, are designated to take the Secondary English in the licensure examinations. Next is te TLE, Technological and Livelihood Education. So last year, effective last year, ito yung TLTVE, yung Technological and Livelihood and Tech Vocational Education. Okay, Tech Voc. So ngayon, pinalik. Hindi nakasama yung Agriculture and Fishery Arts. Okay? So if you are a graduate of industrial technology, audiovisual communication, entrepreneurship, computer technology, teacher technician education, technical teacher education, technology teacher education, and BS agribusiness, you are designated to take TLE major. Same is true with BS architecture, BS fine arts, Home Economics, Interior Design, 
Industrial Arts and Technology, same TLE, majorship po kayo. Okay? Agriculture and Fishery Arts, ito yung AFA. Kung ikaw ay BS in Agribusiness, BS in Agriculture, and BS in Fishery. Mape naman ang majorship ninyo if you're a graduate of Bachelor of Music, BS in Physical Wellness, Bachelor in Physical Education. Okay? And then, Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science and Theology, Behavioral Science, Christian Ministry, Humanities, Philosophy, Religious Studies, and BS in Religious Education, your majorship is Values Education. Okay? And lastly, Social Studies, if you are a graduate of the following course. Take note, Tito, my Bachelor of Arts and BS in Psychology. Eh, sa Biological Science kanina, yung BS in Psychology, but uh, Biological Science din siya. So, i-review yan ng PRC when you apply kung anong mga subjects, kung mas dominant yung yung social studies related na subject mo, then i-assign ka sa social studies. Pero kung mas marami sa sciences, sa biological sciences, you will be assigned in biological sciences. Same is true with journalism. Di ba? Meron na kanina sa si English. Legal management, political science, economics, public ad, public relations, business teacher education. Kanina sa TLE, meron naman yung uh, technology, uh, teacher technology education. Dito naman, business teach, uh, teacher education. Okay? Same is true with marine transportation, AB. Sociology, Bachelor of Laws, Accounting or Accountancy, Banking and Finance, o sila ma'am na BS Commerce, Financial Management, Marketing, sila Miss uh, Torres, Social Studies po ang magiging majorship ninyo kasi, uh, I mean Miss Rose, Business Administration graduate po kayo. Same is true with SIR na BS Criminology, Custom Administration, Guidance and Counseling, Social Studies din. Okay? HRM, si ma'am, BS in Hotel and Restaurant Management, Information Technology, BSOA, yung Office Administration, BS Tourism and Hospitality Management, BS Ed, Major in Computer Education. Okay? Nagtataka siguro kayo ba- bakit nasa Social Studies, hindi sa TLE. <coughs> okay? And then, any Bachelor of Arts yung wala sa listahan, pwede namang i-refer yan sa appropriate major or minor. Depende sa subjects na mas dominant, na mas maraming mong kinuha. Okay? So, for all of you to be guided sa mga designated majorship ninyo, when you inquired naman, di ba, same din naman yung sinabi natin. Uh, except lang, of course, sa uh, sa mga, yung sa science. Di ba, nasabi ko last time na iisa na ang major. Wala ng biological, wala ng physical. Kasi that was effective last year, March of 2023. Pero ngayon, binalik din naman yung biological and physical science same is true with TLE and AFA okay so later on we will uh, or tomorrow we will also discuss the table of specifications per major so that you will be guided kung ano yung mga kailangan yung reviewin sa inyong majorship the fact that 40% of the rating ninyo ay magagaling sa majorship okay Though, sa ating professional education, uh, kahit 18 units lang yung in-enroll nyo or 6 subjects, we will be discussing lahat okay, as part of the package naman of the teacher certificate program. As part of the package natin ay didiscuss natin lahat ng component na nakapaloob 
sa table of specifications sa inyong professional uh, education uh, TOS. Okay? Or specs. Kasi 40% din yon So, weight ng inyong magiging grade okay? or sa inyong rating sa board examinations. Okay? So, itong announcement ng PRC na sa Facebook page nila. Okay? Take note, starting March 24, uh, I mean, effective March 2024. So, covered kayo na magte-take ng examinations ngayong June sa SPLE Middle East. or SP, Kasi kasama dyan ang Singapore, Saudi, Bahrain, and other venues or adding other testing centers. But here in the UAE, we have Abu Dhabi and Dubai as testing centers. So, yung iba sa inyo na taga Abu Dhabi, you can take the exams in, in Abu Dhabi. Okay? So, later on, when you apply sa PRC online, sa Leris, if you wish to take the exams in Abu Dhabi, then put or select Abu Dhabi as your testing center, especially kung taga Abu Dhabi ka. or al Ain. Pero kung taga Dubai and Northern Emirates ka, kailangan ang piliin mo is Dubai. Okay? Eh, nasa inyo na din. If you want to travel to Abu Dhabi and take the exams, wala ding problema. Okay? So, cleared na kayo. Okay? Makaka, pa, makakahinga na kayo. <laughs> na, uh, kasi ang dami yung na, nababalitaan na hindi nakapag-exam sa Philippines, mga kaibigan nyo doon dahil naririnig-rinig nyo na, na kailangan 60 units sa majorship. Okay? Now, eto na. At least 18 units pa din of professional education for you to be qualified to take the board exams for teachers. Okay? So, do you have any questions? Thank you so much for watching. Before leaving, please do click the like, subscribe and get notified button.